Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a super healthy and delicious recovery Buddha bowl with a tangy tahini dressing. I'm Diana Goldman and you're watching Beantown Kitchen, where plant-based dishes are shared that you and your body will love. Now I'm going to show you how to make the tangy tahini dressing. It's made with some fresh squeezed lemon juice, garlic powder, salt, some water, ground ginger, tahini, which is made from toasted ground sesame seeds, and then some soy sauce. You can find the link to both of the recipes I'm going to show you in this video in the description below the video. Both of those links will take you to my website, Beantown Kitchen, where my recipes are located. And now in a medium-sized bowl, I'm going to make the dressing. I'm going to add, it doesn't really matter what order you do this in, I'm going to add some tahini, the lemon juice, soy sauce, the ground ginger and the garlic powder, and then the salt. Oops, I didn't get it all the first time. And then some water. And then I'm going to give it a good stir until everything is well combined like this. I love this dressing because not only does it taste great, but it's also very nutritious. So one serving is three tablespoons and it has 95 calories. It's rich in protein with three grams of protein. It's also high in both calcium and iron and does not contain any cholesterol as plant-based foods simply do not contain cholesterol ever. So a few things to know about the tangy tahini dressing. It keeps in the fridge for about five days. It does thicken as it cools in the refrigerator, so you can thin it out with more water if necessary. And it's delicious on salads, on falafel, or a Buddha bowl, like this recovery Buddha bowl that my husband and I love to have after a workout or a race. For instance, I had it recently after the triathlon, my first one actually, that I competed in recently and I won. Not literally actually, but figuratively. And you can read about that experience if you click on the Instagram link in the description below this video. Okay, so I'll show you how to make it. So in a salad bowl, add some brown rice, some chopped beets and some kind of greens. You might like to use romaine or kale, something like that. Uh, some diced carrots, some sweet potatoes. In this case, I love to use the Japanese sweet potatoes that have white flesh and a purple skin. And then some cilantro. This recipe actually follows my healthy vegan made easy system. I have an ebook that explains that system and also has some recipes included as well. And you can find the link to that free ebook in the description below this video. So now I'm gonna to put together the salad by adding some brown rice and then some greens, some carrots, the sweet potato and the beets. And then at this point, I actually add it to the microwave and I heat that bowl slightly so that all of the ingredients get warmed. And then to the sweet potatoes and the beets, I love to add that tahini dressing because it's nice and tangy and salty. It's a little bit bitter. There's lots of umami in it from the soy sauce. And I think that balances really well with the sweetness of the sweet potato and the beets. And then finally, I'll just finish that off with a garnish of cilantro. Now a little bit about the nutrition in this recovery Buddha bowl. Well, to, for a start, I call it a recovery Buddha bowl because it's really high in anti-inflammatory foods, which is great for recovery and antioxidants and phytonutrients. In addition, it's low in calories. It's got 376 calories and high in protein, 9.5 grams. It's rich in calcium and iron. And as I said before, it does not contain any cholesterol because plant foods don't contain any cholesterol. Don't forget, you can find the link to all of these recipes below this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. A plant-based diet is great for the planet. It's great for the animals and great for you too. Lots of love to you.